keep the head in melon. Rock and rolls in my soul, I keep the head in melon. Rock and rolls in my soul, I keep the head in melon. Rock and rolls in my soul, I keep the head in melon. Hey everybody, thanks for checking back. Um, this is question three in the top ten questions we get here at the Sync Center. My name is John and today's question is this. Can an artist say no to a sync request in the context of sync and supervision and clearance? So, as we've handled thousands of projects like this for brands and bands like uh, Microsoft, HBO, Netflix, uh, Showtime and artists like Glenn Campbell, um, Fall Out Boy, Queen, Willie Nelson, Whitney Houston, Frank Stop, you know, many artists. Um, this is a question we get pretty often as a filmmaker to go, man, this is, this is really important to my film. I really need this for the trailer. Um, but can they say no? So we wanted to make this part of our series and really add add some context and some clarity into what sounds like a simple answer, but there's really um, some moving parts that get us to that answer. So the direct answer is this, is yes, an artist can say no to a use. That's part of their, um, part of the copyright law. They control where their content goes. Uh, some things we've seen or an artist can say no if there's tobacco use or nudity or an NC-17 rating. Those are some things that are kind of flags, maybe. Um, as you can imagine, artists are somewhat particular about their catalog. These are their babies. These are their assets. They want to protect them and to really put them in films and projects and advertisements that really honor the music, uh, honor their catalog. So it it matters to them. So um, the second thing is that artists want to say yes. They're, they want to make, they want to drive revenue around their catalog. They don't want it to just go dark and not be in the culture at all. Uh, they want it to be out there. Um, quick story, uh, Buddy Holly's widow um, would just say no to every use because she didn't understand the moving parts in a sync use. So for many years, probably, you know, since Buddy died, she, her, her, her answer was just no. I, I, you can't you can't use it in your film. Um, and that doesn't really honor the catalog or, or keep it relevant and keep it involved in the culture when a family estate just says no like that. So um, that can happen. So yeah, artists want to say yes. Willie Nelson wants On the Road Again to be used. He may need some tires for his tour bus, or he may need a new tour bus. So he wants to say yes to uses that make sense for his catalog. So a couple things to think through as you're working on your film, working on your series. Um, first thing is this, does your project flatter the song? Does it present the song in a positive light, or does it present the song in a real questionable, icky light. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing as a filmmaker um, is, is your budget reasonable? So popular songs like this, Willie Nelson, uh, Glenn Campbell, Marvin Gaye, Thin Lizzy, Queen, those are really important assets to the rights holders. Um, so. You're, you're, most people understand that you know super valuable songs, super known songs are very, are very valuable. Um, so you don't want to come in with a low offer. You want it to be a reasonable uh, offer for them to get excited about. Um, as you know, kind of instinctively, hit songs are really a shortcut to the human soul. Uh, when when a person hears Glenn Campbell, when a person hears Madonna, when a person hears Marvin Gaye, when a person hears um, uh, Angie from the Rolling Stones, it immediately in, transports them into that scene. So um, music is important. Music is is valuable for filmmakers. And, and that's probably something you already know uh, instinctively as a filmmaker. Um, but Think about your, your music buzz budget. Is your offer price reasonable? Um, the third thing as a filmmaker is to be ready to pour out your heart for this use. Um, you want to be able to tell the story of why this song is vital to your film. You really want to connect with them 
um, subjectively. So we can give them all the details of the use and negotiate with them. But as a filmmaker, you have to tell your story better than anybody else. And you probably can already do this. Um, so be ready to kind of give a compelling paragraph on, on why this song has to be in your movie. You, they need to say, yes, we love it, we want it. Um, people want to be asked to the dance, and it's really up for you to get them excited um, about your film. Um, the third thing is, is, do you really need the original song? Oftentimes people will uh, you know, th think of a, a Taylor Swift song. Um, okay, do you need Taylor's version, the original version of that song? Or do you need something that just kind of creates that energy, that vibe, that instrumentation, maybe that same tempo that gets gets the energy of it, but but doesn't have the price tag of a Taylor song. So um, those are a couple things to think about as you're working on your film. I uh, hope that helps you kind of think through your music budget for your film or your advertisement. Um, also, on a, just on a housekeeping note, we added a new option to the website. If you need to um, talk about your project or have a specific question, you can now schedule a call on our website, thesyncenter.com, where you can talk to a human um, in a matter of hours about your project. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you want to be kept in the loop on future episodes at the Sync Center, just smash the button below and we'll keep you in the loop. Thanks so much. I'm a rock, I'm a roll, I'ma get mine on And I'ma count, I'ma vote not still like break down And I'ma pack, I'ma stack, get him hell on dead I'ma hustle the homies, so be hating, I expect I'ma creep while you sleep, I'ma be in black I gotta eat, what you mean, it's not about them stacks I'ma dip in the streets, man, I'll be right back